For as long as humans have stared up at the night sky, we've been haunted by a question. Are we alone in the universe? We've been taught to dismiss the strange lights and unexplainable objects that flicker across the stars as tricks of the mind, whether balloons or simple aircraft. But lately, something undeniable is happening. These sightings, these encounters, are being captured more frequently, from every corner of the globe. They're showing up in ways that are harder and harder to explain away, leaving even the most skeptical among us questioning what's really out there. Now it seems that the evidence is right in front of us, more vivid and accessible than ever. Yet so many continue to deny it, to dismiss the possibility that what we've been seeing for years might be something more. But what will it take to change that? At what point will we stop looking for explanations and start accepting that maybe, just maybe, we're not the only ones in this vast universe? Yup, this is real and millions are terrified as huge, violent, non-earthly UFOs are crashing down from space, watching us and making themselves known that they are ready to attack. People were terrified after recent videos showed what appeared to be a large disc-shaped UFO that had been surveilling our White House at night, with many experts verifying it indeed is not something from any military on Earth as it was changing speeds before the crash and is miles long. As people from North Carolina to New Jersey and Maryland all reported they could not only see it but heard it, with eerie clips from the crash site showing the ship not only completely vanished without a trace, but there was no debris nor was there ever any explosion after the crash. And there's this huge trail like something crash landed. What the heck is that? What is this? It gets so much stranger as even though nothing was there, police kept calling for backup from midnight until 3 a.m. and we apparently still don't know what it is. This video isn't just a collection of clips. It's a call to open your eyes to stop ignoring what's been right in front of us all along. These images, these recordings, these experiences are, they signs off, something we've been unwilling to confront. And the bigger question is, when will you believe? Welcome back to Newsmaker Saturday. Thanks for being with us tonight. 26 years ago, the so-called Phoenix Lights captivated the nation. Chances are, when we say Phoenix Lights, you probably know what we're talking about. One of the biggest UFO sightings in the world. Join me as we dive into the unknown, sift through the sightings, and explore the unexplainable. Are we really witnessing visitors from another world? Or is there something else at play? Sure. After watching this, you'll have more questions than answers. And maybe, just maybe, that's the point. On March 13, 1997, while thousands of people were looking skyward purposely for a glimpse of the hale -Bopp comet, they also caught a glimpse of these either these V or Delta or boomerang-shaped orbs. One of those skeptics was Dr. Lynn Kitai. I am a healthy skeptic, but I saw this up close and personal and captured 35 millimeter photographs. Kitai says there's even been new sightings. This is a CGI rendering of what one man recently saw flying over Prescott, a craft very similar to what people first reported seeing 17 years ago today. Okay, me and my dad were just sitting here watching Fox News, and I think we just accidentally uh, seen um, Fox News uh, just showed uh, either angels or demons coming in after a missile just hit, and maybe it's a Grim Reaper, I don't know, but it has wings. Go ahead, Dad, play it. You'll see it, it starts in from up here, it comes down and does a swirl, it comes down, and there's another one that pops in over here. She's contributor and former national security advisor to President Trump and VP Pence. First, your reaction. Now rewind it in slow-mo. Now fast forward it in some of how you did it earlier, because I could see its wings flapping and everything.
Ei vaan se... First your reaction. You think it's a bird? No, there's two of them pop in there. Yeah. Now the other one's right there, I think. Yep. It pops in here and then just disappears because it pops in out of nowhere. Dr. Kitai expects this year to be bigger than ever thanks to a New York Times article documenting a military program to study UFOs, making the Phoenix Lights more important than ever. The Phoenix Lights are validated as something that could be otherworldly. Well, here's a few details about this video. Now, this was taken in Virginia, specifically right next to Langley Air Force Base. Now, why is that important? Because apparently, recently, there have been swarms of drones or UFOs flying around and over this Air Force Base, protected airspace, right? And that we don't know how to stop it and we don't know what it is and this is a perfect example this video that was just taken okay this week um of this phenomenon right so in this video i'm going to play part of that ufo video and then kind of you know dive into the story right so first let me play the video so you can just get that because maybe that's all you're here for right let's play the ufo video and then we'll dig in further They started off down there. They've just been chilling there. There's like blue, there's like a blue light, there's a white light, there are red lights, green lights. A string of Christmas tree lights. But it's at an angle. It's wild. Over plum tree. The bay's over there. We're out here fishing. Sunday, October 10th, uh, 13th, 9 p.m. Now, that is an interesting video, right? Different colored lights. Um, kind of looks like Christmas tree lights of some sort, right? Um, and again, just taken this recently, right? And specifically, this video was taken right here, right? And you can also see on the map how close this is to Langley, Virginia. In some cases, motherships have been reported, according to Mellon, who also managed security and information operations for part of his time at the Pentagon. These motherships, Mellon clarified, were extremely fast, larger vehicles that have been observed collecting or releasing swarm of smaller craft. Uh, what? They're talking about Christopher Mellon right here, right? who definitely might know what he's talking about. And then, as an example, they said this. One such mothership case was investigated by Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, Special Agent Michael Bumberger, over Nebraska government records show. Local sheriffs reported seeing 30 to 50 unusual craft flying independently of one another, with a larger, quote, mothership hovering nearby for hours. Uh, I don't know about you, but this is fascinating, right? Talking about now there's these motherships, right, that are releasing these smaller, quote unquote, drones or UFOs or what, we don't know what they are, right? That is fascinating, a mothership, could this be a non-human intelligence mothership, an alien mothership? That's insane, right? And fascinating. And another thing that's fascinating in this article, if you remember from that UFO video, you can see these different colored lights, like the gentleman explained. The James Webb Space Telescope discovers a massive object traveling at light speed coming straight for Earth. This massive object is moving, very unusual, not like a comet or asteroid, Something intelligent is controlling it. Could this be an alien spacecraft?
aliens are coming in three weeks? Yeah, you heard me right. The James Webb telescope just picked up an armada of ships speeding towards Earth at light speed. These non-human beings are set to arrive in about three weeks, but here's the wild part. Those ships that we're seeing, they're just the tip of the iceberg. There's already thousands of ships hovering between dimensions, completely invisible to you and I. They're either cloaked or sitting in places our eyes and text can't even begin to reach. And these aren't just any aliens. This is a federation of beings that don't even need regular spacecraft to travel. Some use zero point technology moving through vibrations of existence itself and yup, they're not bound by time and space like we are. So while we're all looking for the arrival, there's already way more going on in the skies than we know. Well, this is exciting. A NASA filmmaker claims that evidence of alien life could be revealed in the next month. Professor Simon Holland, who has worked on projects with NASA, National Geographic and the BBC said last week, the telescopes on Earth have discovered evidence of intelligent alien life. He told the Mirror, quote, We have found a non-human extraterrestrial intelligence in our galaxy, and people don't know about it. Now, Holland claims that the Oxford astronomers have identified clear evidence of transmissions from another world and could announce the discovery in the next month. The filmmaker says a contact with Mark Zuckerberg's organization, Breakthrough Listen, a privately funded scientific research program aimed to find evidence of civilizations beyond Earth, shared the latest information with him. I have two words to say to you, viewers. Immaculate Constellation. A brand new bombshell whistleblower report alleges the existence of a secret Pentagon UAP and UFO program and it's called Immaculate Constellation. The report, turned over to Congress, claims the government has high-resolution pictures of UAPs. An explosive new report. The Pentagon is illegally hiding a secret UFO collection program. Investigative journalist Jeremy Corbell says this confirms everything he's been saying for years, and it's only the tip of the iceberg. Pentagon is illegally hiding secret UFO programs from Congress, sources allege. And the report is quite extraordinary. It says that there is an unacknowledged special access program called Immaculate Constellation, which is the parent program is the language used for exactly what you said, UAP, crash retrieval, uh, reverse engineering, and apparently a very large database of high quality photographs, videos, infrared videos, uh, apparently much more sophisticated documentation of many more UAP encounters than have been released. What's going on here? Okay, I do not know what's going on right now. I heard a noise. I come outside. There's sirens blaring, and I see this huge trail in the sky. Yes, the Capitol Hill Police. Man, everywhere. What's going on? It's quiet, as if they're waiting for something. It's midnight right now, and there's this huge trail like something crash landed. What the heck is that? What is this? Expecting something, preparing for something. You guys been hearing this whole giant spacecraft that's been crashed in DC? Well, I did a little research. Okay, I do not know what's going on right now. I heard a noise. I come outside. There's sirens blaring. And in doing that research, y'all ever heard of a man by the last name Armstrong? Well, he was in DC in the morning, and look what gathered up. Shh. It's early in the morning. It's the morning. 
That was four in the morning, like they were waiting for something to happen. All of them. What are a bunch of police officials doing waiting? Like, at four in the morning? Four in the morning. That looked like a day shift. That looked like the shift that starts at seven. But no, at four. And then we're hearing reports of this. Like, they were waiting for something to happen. Now, I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to piece things together. But when I seen those two videos, and when I seen that video, and then made me think about the DC shit that happened, oh, a, a, a spacecraft. Are they not trying to prepare us for this Project Bluebeam? I'm just saying, piece the things together. Guys, us that make videos, content creators, we are the real news. And there's a reason why they ban people like us. You're even hearing the left saying, the only way we can ever control the narratives is if we take away free speech from social media. And they've come out and said that verbatim. So piece things together. Please be independent journalists. Film everything that you guys ever seem suspicious. Because let me tell you, if I ever see Project Bluebeam and aliens running on the ground, I'm tackling. I'm not running. I don't believe the hype. Death isn't real. And I want to know if they're holograms or not. Or is this some real shit? Because let me tell you, your eyes are about to lie to you. Peace to God. Many different UFOs and strange anomalies have been seen in the month of October. Not only did we go through a hurricane, Hurricane Milton, which broke records, but people all over the world are showing these strange things happening in the sky. The question is, what is really going on? As you look at some of this footage, I do have to warn you, it's very shocking and it gives you this feeling inside that like something's not right. But watch these videos. Purple skies, lights in the sky, UFOs, interdimensional beings. Now this is all over the world that these videos are popping up right now in the month of October. What is going on? Look at that. Look at that straight line in the sky. That is impossible. It looks like a TV screen. All over the world this is happening, guys. Something's going on. There's spiritual warfare going on right now. It's a fight between good and evil. Look at this. Explosions in the sky. You better get your life right with the Lord. Look at that. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. But tag someone in this video, share this with someone, and it's time for us to wake up, guys, and get our life and our family in order. What do you guys think that these videos are about? So are we getting aliens or are we not getting aliens before the year is over? Remember on January 1st, that whole Miami mall thing where literally every cop in the city was called because some teenagers were fighting with sticks. But then you had people say that there were creatures that were popping out and walking around the mall and that's what was freaking people out. Now you've got stuff falling out of the sky in DC and North Carolina. You got some video footage of the smoke plumes in the sky, I guess. It's being left by the aircraft. What is going on? And if it's aliens, can they just get here? Can they just do it and just get here? Because we're honestly, I think, all tired of going to work and paying these bills. And we need something to break up the monotony. I don't know about you, but I am ready. Every day that these reports keep coming out, I am ready. Let's go. It's like blue, there's like a blue light, there's a white light, there are red lights, green lights. Well, check out this official government document, right? Received because of a FOIA request, Freedom of Information Act, 
look what one military witness had to say about some drones or UFOs over Langley. A military witness testifies to the drones displaying flashing red, green, and white lights. This testimony was released via the U.S. Freedom of Information Act, along with 50 pages of Air Force records on the December wave of drone swarms over Langley. Yeah, so that happened. Uh, I have to admit, that is super strange, right? Why are we seeing all of these, right? And the military is admitting to it. Not having control of our coastal airspace and our coastlines, that's not good, especially next to our most sensitive parts of America, right? Washington, D.C. is right there. Virginia, Norfolk, Langley, like these are not just any installation. So this is quite concerning, if I'm being honest, right? So I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm baffled, to be honest with you. So. There's way more reports. There's way more sightings. It's not like it's just one isolated incident, right? And if you're on Reddit, you start to see, you know, people posting. I mean, it's hard to tell if they're telling the truth, right? But just tons of people posting that they've seen similar things either near that area or where they live, right? Which could help explain it's not just something there, right? It's something happening everywhere, right? Which is what people think. Right, this phenomenon. Right? It's not just these drones, right? Chinese or Russian drones. It's something more potentially, right? Which would make sense because otherwise, what? Our adversaries just have drones everywhere. That also seems unlikely. Right? So I don't know. But look, let's go out playing that UFO video one last time. They started off down there. They've just been chilling there. There's like blue, there's like a blue light, there's a white light, there are red lights, green lights. A string of Christmas tree lights. But it's at an angle. It's so wild. Over a plum tree. So. After seeing all these recent clips of supposed alien sightings, the question for me is, do I believe? Well, here are my thoughts. Personally, I've believed in the possibility of intelligent life ever since I was a kid staring up at the night sky. It's hard to imagine, with the vastness of space that we're the only ones out there. I truly think there's intelligent life beyond Earth. The universe is just too big, too mysterious for us to be alone. But are they already here, walking among us on Earth? Honestly, I don't know. If I'm being real, I have to say no. At least not yet. I'm the kind of person who needs hard evidence. Like sitting down face to face and having a full-on conversation with an actual alien. Until that happens, I remain open-minded but skeptical. I need more than sightings, videos, and stories. I need proof. Where are the aliens? When you say, what are the aliens, what do you mean? where are the aliens? Like, why don't we see them? A lot of people think we see aliens, but I, I've not seen any evidence of aliens. Yeah, you know, we've got 6,000 satellites in orbit, and not once have we had to maneuver around an alien spacecraft. Right. But on this Earth, the U.S. military's had to do a lot of maneuvering around objects they can't explain. That said, with all the strange things happening in the world, I wouldn't be surprised if one day, maybe, even soon, we finally get that undeniable, in-your-face proof. Something we can't ignore or explain away. And when that day comes, I just hope they're here to elevate mankind to another level, not to bring about our demise with some end of the world scenario. Uh, I mean, there's always a bunch of um, classified programs that are underway, of, of new aircraft and new missiles and things, so that, that, that are classified even within the military. So it's, you know, only a if you have the top secret compartmented clearance, would you know about this new program? So then, you know, some pilot sees something fast, moving fast, and says, hey, I saw a UFO. I'm like, yeah, that was actually a new weapons program, but we can tell you that. The split second I see any evidence of aliens, I will immediately post that on the X platform. And it'll probably be our number one post of all time. That'll be your biggest day, yes. for sure.